Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. From the turreted castle and Main Street to Monte Cristo Island and Kukwana Land, Bartholomew Zenon's Zenon Land is protected by the Night Sheriff. Day and night, he is burdened by a witch's curse to be aware of all that live and play within the massive fantasy theme park. Now an attack on the park by a monster hunter who knows far too much threatens everything, guests, staff, and fellow supernaturals taking refuge in the park. The night sheriff must scramble to uncover not only the source of the threat, but secrets of the park of which even he was not aware. If he doesn't, he may be doomed. The park may be doomed. Even the world may be doomed. And that's a lot of doom. Get your copy at Amazon.com today. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Emerald Deep Zoological Park, Planet Zoo Franchise Mode. I'm Jack. If you've never been here before, welcome aboard. If you have been here before, then by all means, welcome back. Now, at the end of the last episode, I started setting this up. This is basically going to be a multi-species habitat containing the... Uh, the Okapi, the African Buffalo, and the Niala. I decided to just combine them into one big show, I guess is a good word for it. Anyway, um, these are size guidelines. Now, I did figure it out. There's a, there's a, a function of the game that basically lets you sit, uh, set it up. So, okay, I wanted to put... Uh, I want to put five Buffalo, two Okapi, and five Nyala in here. How much space do I need? And it turns out that I need just a little bit over 2,000 uh, square meters. Now, the big circle is 2,000 square meters, and I'm using these guidelines. These are our guideline frames. Um, you can find them on the workshop. They are really, really useful. Um, and basically, all they do is tell you how big... Uh, uh, you know, wh wh what exactly does it mean when an animal requires, say, 278 square meters? Well, it's obviously too small for one of these, but it's not too small for one of those. So if you make your habitat about, about this big or about that big, it'll be fine. Or on the other end, if you're dealing, dealing with polar bears, here's your polar bears, you know, 3,000 square meters. But anyway, the number of animals that I'm adding to this habitat required uh, more than 2,000 square meters. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. So I added some of these blocks just to keep things straight. Um, I add another 250 square meter uh, uh, circle over here. That's going to end up being the animal's shelter. And this, the remaining part of it, is going to end up being... A viewing area and I'm all you know I'm, I'm, I am looking forward to getting to this build now this is going to be a longer than normal build I'm op you know, openly admitting that in uh, you know to to, to uh, uh, start off with because this is going to be complicated it is really going to be complicated so with no further ado I'm gonna go ahead and get things started <clears throat> Excuse me, jeez. I'm all flimmy right now, and that's that's really horrible. So anyway, uh, I am going to get started on this build. Uh, I'm going to take it directly to the time lapse, and uh, I will talk to all you guys uh, further on down the line. I may interrupt the time lapse to comment on what I'm doing or to you know to, for, for whatever reason um, if so I'll talk to you then if not I will wait until I am done with the build and again I have no idea what's going on with my throat it wasn't like that 10 minutes ago it really wasn't so we'll see anyway wish me luck on this build I have some great ideas I hope to be able to put them all into um, into, into uh, reality. So I will see you on the other side, guys.
Okay, it's getting way late and I'm beginning to get tired, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording here and I will restart it uh, when I uh, resume the build, which should be sometime tomorrow after I actually get some sleep. Uh, anyway, uh, we've basically got the shelter and the first viewing area done. I told you this was going to be a long build and it is a long build. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a fence along this area here and along the front and then a back wall around here and uh, I'm gonna sink this circular area in your you know maybe the squares or you know I'm gonna sink most of it not all of it 
Um, and then we'll get rid of all these other boxes. So anyway, it is coming along. It's just coming along slowly, and I do apologize. It is, my God, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. I've been up for over 24 hours. So I'm going to go get some uh, shut-eye, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, and we're back. I've had uh, a couple hours sleep and want to put in some more work. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to finish this this episode. But, you know, I'm going to give it a college try, as they used to say. Um, okay, what do I want to do here? Right. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm beginning to think this might be my very first multiple episode uh, uh, zoo build. Because this has taken a while. I'm, I'm working from scratch on it. And it is taking me longer than I expected. Um, you know, I know what I want to do with it. And I know how I'm going to handle it. But the actual uh, physical process has taken me longer than I expected. Um, so, if I do run out of time... I'll just stop it in the middle. Hold on a second. There we go. Got my timer running. Um, if I do run out of time, I'll just stop and come back to it in the next episode. Now, wouldn't that be amazing? A build so big I couldn't finish it in a single episode. We shall see how it goes. All right. I'm going to turn this back over to the uh, time lapse process, and I will see you on the other side.
Okay, so that happened. Um, uh, what specifically happened was that I finished the, the build and I recorded my usual outro where I, I talk about the build for a minute and then I say something along the lines of, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, notification bell, blah, blah, blah. See you in the next episode. Uh, don't forget to leave comments, things like that. And then I went to edit the video and put it all together so I could upload it onto YouTube. And I found that about the last half hour of the video was completely gone. Which is why what you just saw was the speed build end abruptly in the middle, followed by this. This, this last minute explanation. As you can see, the, uh, the build worked out wonderfully. You know, I, I like the way it the, the way it came out looks good lots of plant life I especially like um, especially like these these uh, the, this planter board thing I have to openly admit I stole it from simply Savannah Savannah's you know good for that kind of idea um, you know we've already did we've already had babies lots of babies and uh, you know, I was expecting to be able to just edit the video together, but no, uh, it didn't work for whatever reason. Anyway, guys, um, you know, I hope you like what you see here. I like it. It really works. It it uh, came out really great, exactly what I wanted. So, let me go back to the usual spiel. If you liked what you saw here, and I do have to apologize. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead and take care of your business there, Mr. Nyala. Um, if you liked what you saw here, for as much of it as you saw, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that uh, notification bell so you do not miss any of my videos. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I will be seeing you in the next video, which ought to be a lemur habitat if things go well it'll be lemurs there's no reason why it shouldn't anyway uh yeah uh again thanks for watching i had a, a fun time with this this was a much longer build than normal i mean yowzers the total time on the original video was like two hours you know including the uh you know, like half hour, 45 minutes that was nothing but unusable static because it was no longer picking up the broadcast. I'm going to have to look into that. Anyway, guys, uh, I thank you for your time and attention, and I will talk to you in the next episode of the Emerald Deep Zoological Park. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.